Welcome to Lesson 3 of Green Filing's video training series for e-filing in the California Courts. In Lesson 2, we started or filed a new case. Now we'd like to focus on how to file a new document on an existing case. There are a few ways of beginning this process in Green Filing, so we're going to point out each option, then do an example filing on that existing case we started in Green Filing, and finally file on an existing case that we have to retrieve from the court system. In the process, we'll take a quick peek at Green Filing's case summary screen and our filing status screen. All right, so in lesson two, you learned how to file a new case or start a new case. In this lesson, we're going to go over how to file a new document on an existing case. And for this first example, what I want to do is go ahead and file a new document on that new case that we originally filed. I'm on my dashboard screen and we can start a new filing by going here and clicking on file on existing case. But before we do that, I'd like to demonstrate quickly if I move to our filing status screen. On this screen, we're going to see that that filing that we had submitted earlier in lesson two has been accepted. Um, and you see a case number is now here. If you want to go ahead and file on this case again, one way to do it is to click on the case number so that you get a view of the case and then from this screen go ahead and click on file document. That's going to take us to our new filing screen on an existing case and default the case number in here for step one. From this point you can just move on and go ahead and file your new document on the case. Uh, before completing the filing what I'd like to do though is just go back to the dashboard and show you that you can also just go ahead and click on file on existing case and then in step one rather than the case defaulting in we just get the option here to either select a case from our existing list or we can add a case to the account so if there was an existing case that you've not started on green filing or that's already started and you now need to e-file on it you can click add a case to do that and we'll demonstrate that in a moment for this example let's go ahead and select that case that we already started in green filing and file on that. So the filing process here is very similar to what we did when we started a new case. First step, obviously we have select case. We've done that. Second step is to select your document type. So we have a list of all the document types. Um, we can filter this down. So if we're going to file a motion, we can start typing motion and we'll just see the motion options. So for this example, I'll do motion no fee. We can uh, continue uh, or write a full description for the document title here in the document description field. So we default motion in, but if it was a motion to continue, you could go ahead and add that in there. Then we're going to browse out to our computer and select the file we want to uh, submit. So again, in this case, I have a Word document that I'll go ahead and select and then click Add and Upload. And again, we're going to convert that Word document to PDF. If you want to see what the PDF looks like, you can just click on this link to view that PDF. And again, you can upload as many documents as you need to in order to submit your filing. So if I had a proposed order that went along with this, I could select proposed order as my document type, type in a document description of proposed order to continue, browse out, select my proposed order. Again, I have a doc. Uh, Word document that I'm going to convert to PDF. And we'll stop there, but you can see you can upload as many documents as you need to uh, to submit in this um, filing submission. Uh, we're also going to go ahead and select our, secure, our, our security for each document, so we'll make these public. Uh, optional services, again, if there are service, optional service fees that you know you might have to pay along with this filing, for example, uh, court reporter fee or something like that, you can select that from the optional service. For this example, I'm just going to leave as none. You do have an opportunity here to add parties. If you are filing something, um, maybe amend, an amended complaint or a cross claim or counterclaim or something like that, where you're actually going to be adding parties to the case, you can do that here in step four. Just click the add party link. Then you have the opportunity to select a role. So for example, if I were going to add a defendant, then just like in a new case filing, we can fill that person's information out and submit it along with our filing. 
In this case, I'm just filing a motion, so I'm not going to add a party. So I can just click this red X to delete that. Then again, we're going to select the party that we're filing on behalf of. So I'll select the plaintiff. Section 6 here is where we're dealing with service contacts again. So when we filed this case, we had attached uh, three service contacts to the case. And so those automatically display again now that you're filing on the same case. We default them all to selected, meaning that when you submit this filing, we're going to send electronic notification of service to each of these people. But you can uh, deselect them and only uh, serve certain people if you choose to. I'm just going to leave mine all as checked. Uh, at this time, you could also add additional service contacts, just like we did in the new case filing. Just click on Add Additional Contact. You can search the public list, add from your firm, whatever you need to do, and then click Add and Attach to add those additional contacts. Uh, again, we display the filing fees. So for the motion, we have a $60 fee, nothing for the proposed order. And then we have the Odyssey eFile California service fee of $5 for a permissive court, permissive e-filing court, and the court convenience fee, which is based on a percentage of the total filing fee. Select our waiver account that we're going to pay those fees with. Again, if we wanted to confirm the fee calculation with the court, we can just click this link and it's going to come back with that confirmed fee calculation. Finally, which attorney are you filing on behalf of? Um, if you want to type a note to the clerk, you can do that here in the clerk memo field. And then under client matter number, we've gone ahead and defaulted in the client matter number you input when you submitted the case originally. Um, we assume it's going to be the same since it's the same case. If you needed to change it, obviously you could change it there. Finally, check the box to verify all is complete and click sign and file. So at this point, again, we're packaging up the document and information. We're going to submit it to the court. When they acknowledge it with the receipt, uh, we'll redirect you to the filing status screen. Again, you'll see your filing status is pending, and you'll see that envelope number, which is assigned by the court so that you know the court has your filing. Just like a new case filing, you're going to see all the same emails go out on this filing. Um, and then once the filing is accepted, you will receive an either an accepted, or I'm sorry, once the filing is reviewed, you'll receive either a filing accepted or rejected email. So that was a scenario where we just went ahead and e-filed on that existing case where we had actually filed the new case through green filing. So the case was already in the system for us. Let me quickly demonstrate a second scenario, which is where we need to add a case from um, from, a, from the court that's not yet on your account. So I'm going to click this add a case link. First I clicked on file on existing case. Then I'm going to click add a case. I'm going to select the court we want to add it from. And then I'm going to type in the case number. And then click add a case. So at this point, we've reached out to the court and we've found that case and we're bringing it back into the system. Now we're just going to click file document to launch into the filing process. And again, I'll just move through this quickly. We'll do a motion, we'll browse out, select our document. This time I'll select the PDF document. We'll do our security. We don't have any new case parties to add. We have a role. We'll leave the uh, service contacts as is. I have estimated uh, filing fees. Select the payment account. Select an attorney. Don't have a uh, client matter number on this one, so we'll add one. Verify and sign and file. So you can see, even if you have to file on an existing case that you've not added to your green filing account yet, very quick process to do that. Um, just click the add a case link, retrieve the case, and then move through the filing process.